Good morning. Charles Lombiazzi here. How are you? Um, that was a little bit of a piece I've been working on called um, Maria's Theme. Um, nevertheless, um, I'm just here to um, go over a couple of things. Uh, first, I want to thank everybody, every one of your souls for being so supportive to me. What am I? The Gladiator? Um, I appreciate that name. I guess I guess I'll have to wear it. I guess it, it's going to stick and fit. But um, I'm here to describe this bass and kind of do a demo of it. This is lent to me by um, one of my soulmates, Tony Senator. I have a project that I have to do and I don't have my five string fretless ready. And out of the kindness of his heart, um, he let me use it. But the stipulations, I had to make a video. I put some TLC into it. Uh, I set it up the way I would like it. And uh, it's a fantastic bass. You know, I use Stingrays. I have them. But um, this uh, instrument is very special. And I'm going to go through it. You have volume, treble, mid-range, and bass. Perfect start. Everything flat. I wish they had a bypass switch on these things, but it's something that you could always do if you really want to. Um, the second control over here, since it's a single pickup bass, which is I love, and it's more closer to the bridge position, but it's kind of like in a sweet spot. It has this three-way selector switch. So position one is what a standard music man would be run at with the coil pattern parallel which means two coils negative negative positive positive so here's a quick sound standard stingray sound center position is a coil tap and I'm happy they were smart enough to tap the back coil uh, which is the one closest to the bridge remember kids back is towards the bridge front is towards the neck and then you got the middle so in middle position is this uh, coil tap check it out nice snappy Parallel standard um, stingray. More brighter, more of the articulation of say like an old um, jazz bass, you know, like kind of like the 60s style. I mean, this pickup, this part of that pickup is not exactly further back, but it gives you what you need. So now you got the third position. This is series, so you have negative, positive, to negative, to positive. It's series. This is going to give you a boost of a little more low end, but it's going to have a cloudy low mid, and it's going to have a little more of a pronounced um, high mid, but it's still kind of going to be cloudy. So here's this sound. <laughs> single uh, coil tap What I like to do 
is sometimes I like to roll the bass up on this and then I sometimes it, another sound is you roll this middle all the way off check this out And this is where it really gets effective when you have the uh, pickup in the series mode. stuff you kind of want that mid-range to sit like in a pocket enough where it's going to cut but not where it's too squawky and annoying you know um, the tone is is important um, so anyway that's kind of a description of the bass this is one of the um, earnings this is a chordal uh, uh, instrument cable wire um, Bakiti Komala at the clinics and everything else uh, he uses these wires they make a big difference I will be using this wire um, on a constant now um, I'm recording directly and I'm using the Phil Jones PE5 um, preamp into the H9 running it in stereo uh, which is another thing I need to talk about is this Phil Jones um, equipment. This is one of the most powerful um, preamp pedals on the market. Um, what's great about it is the piezo option. I have bases that have piezo pickups in it without the preamps or buffers and I'm able to run those particular bases. That EB2 I have, the fretless one, the modified the blondie uh, by with that flip of the switch I mean it just it makes a difference I mean that's a freak bass that just happens to sound great but um, your bass should have all the tone controlling secrets in it and when you use a passive bass it's great to use a preamp like this before it goes to the amplifier and that's another thing I stress about Phil Jones um, amplification is that it gives you the tone of the instrument what you put into it is what you're going to get out you don't want to use the amplifiers for color I mean back in the day my marshals which I'm looking at right now my basements and everything else over here I mean that's all we had but you know it, it's so cool to be able to take an old vintage instrument and be able to hear really what its true beauty is especially those mud buckers which um, you guys have heard me um, do my thing with um, but um, I just wanted to share these um, things with you guys and um, I want to thank Tony Senator and um, for lending me the instrument and um, I got some work to do uh, tonight I'll try to send some videos. I have to do um, the IHOP thing, um, which I'll have another pedal board to do what I need for it to do. So anyway, um, here she is. Happy Friday. Thank you.